Today we're going to talk about subtracting polynomials. All right. So let's get started. So I have um, 8x squared plus 2x minus 6x squared minus 8x. Okay? When you are subtracting any objects, you have something to, to start with and then you take something away. So I have this polynomial to start, and I'm going to subtract this polynomial from this polynomial. And the process that we're going to use, um, it's extremely simple, okay? First thing you need to notice is that we are subtracting, okay? So whenever you subtract, whenever you have a subtraction sign right, right beside a parentheses, we need to imagine that there is a negative 1 right here, okay? And so I'm going to write the first part, which is 8x squared plus 2x. Then I'm going to distribute or multiply this negative 1 to each term inside, okay? So I'm going to take this negative one and multiply it times six x squared. Well, when I multiply negative one times six x squared, I'm going to end up with a negative six x squared. Then I'm going to multiply this negative one times this negative eight x. So negative one times negative 8x is a positive 8x. Now if you notice the difference, if you watch the adding polynomials um, video before you watch this one, you notice that whenever we added polynomials, we just drop the signs and then combine like terms. When you subtract polynomials, you need to multiply every term in here by a negative. Okay? Some people say whenever you have a negative beside a parentheses like in front of your polynomial, just switch your signs. It's the same concept. The only th if you notice, this 6x squared became a negative 6x squared. This negative 8x became a positive 8x. So you can either say you're going to switch your signs, or you can say, which is the same thing, you're going to multiply every term by a negative 1. And then, right now, this process is just like the process of, of adding polynomials. We're just going to combine our like terms now. So I have 8x squared minus 6x squared, which will leave me with 2x squared. And I have a positive 2x plus an 8x, which leaves me with positive positive 10x. So my final answer is going to be 2x squared plus 10x. All right? Let's try another one. I have negative 9x plus 6 minus negative 2 plus 2x. Okay? Again, the first thing you notice is that we're subtracting. And when we're subtracting, we want to write a little 1 here. Okay? And we're going to take this 1 
and we're going to distribute it to the to the minus two and we're going to take it and distribute it to the um, plus 2x. Okay? So, when I distribute, when I multiply the negative 1 times a negative 2, well, before that, I'm going, I need to bring this down. Negative 9x plus 6. Okay? Now, when I multiply the negative 1 times a negative 2, you know a negative times a negative is a positive 2. Well, give me a positive 2. When I multiply the negative 1 times the positive 2x, that's going to leave me with a negative 2x. Now I just need to combine my like terms. Well, I have a negative 9x and a negative 2x. That's going to leave me with a negative 11x. Then I have a plus 6 and a plus 2. That's going to leave me with plus 8. So my final answer is negative 11x plus 8. Let's try another one. Well, I have negative 8x squared plus 2x minus 3 minus negative 6 plus 4x squared minus 10x. Okay? So, the first thing you notice is that you have a negative right here. You have that negative right there. Okay? Let me make that red because that's what I've been making it red. You have that negative number right there, that negative sign. So that means that the I'm going to take this away from this part over here. So I'm, I need to write this down. 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then I'm going to distribute this negative, this negative 1 as we said. Distribute, I'm, when I say distribute, I mean multiply. I'm going to multiply every term in my in this parentheses by negative 1. Okay? So, negative 1 times a negative 6 will give me a positive 6. Negative 1 times this positive 4x squared will give me a negative 4x squared. Negative 1 times this negative 10x will leave me with a positive 10x. Alright, now the only thing I need to do now is just combine my like terms. So I have a negative 8x squared and a negative 4x squared, that's le that leaves me with a negative 12x squared. I have a positive 2x and a positive 10x. That's going to leave me with a plus 12x. Then I have a minus 3 and a positive 6, which is going to leave me with a positive 3. Now I need to make sure my, my terms are in descending order, my exponents are in descending order. 
I have an x squared, I have a 1x, and I have no x. So this is my final answer. Okay, let me give you one to work, and let's see how you do. Okay. Negative 7 plus 6x squared minus 2x minus negative 9 plus 10x squared. Okay, if you'll please put the video on pause and um, subtract these two polynomials. Thank you. All right. The first thing you notice is that we are subtracting polynomials. We're subtracting polynomials, okay? So I'm going to write my first part down. Negative 7 plus 6x squared minus 2x. Now, when I get to my minus sign here, I'm going to multiply every term in here by a negative 1. So this term and this term, I'm going to multiply by a negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 9 is a positive 9. Negative 1 times negative 10x squared is a negative 10x squared. So I multiplied negative 1 times negative 9 and I got a positive 9. I multiplied negative 1 times positive 10x squared which is a negative 10x squared. So now it's time for me to combine my like terms. I have a negative 7 and a positive 9, which leaves me with a 2. I have a positive 6x squared and a minus 10x squared, which leaves me with a negative 4x squared. And last but not least, I have this minus 2x. Okay? Well, if you notice that my exponents are not in descending order, you should have noticed that. So we need to write this in standard form. So my largest, I have this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term. I need to put my exponents in descending order. Where, which one has my largest exponent? That's going to be this one. So I'm going to write that one down for first. Negative 4x squared. This has 2x squared. This has an x squared. This one just has an x, so I'm going to write negative 2x. And this one does not have an x, so I'm going to just write 2. So here's my final answer. All right, I hope this video helped you. Um, please um, go to mathwithmoon.org for uh, future videos and leave your comments and suggestions for future videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.